And nobody's going to want a window here because nobody wants to see what goes on in that room. Soon you will know what goes on in that room and you won't be very happy about it. Progress. This is what progress looks like. Right. There's a greater variety of ailments in this area. Diseases like slack tongue. <laughs> yes, it's as bad as it sounds. It's just made me choke. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you wait until you see that. Anyway, we need a research department to sort all of that out. And we need a cardiogram. Um, a reputation of 300, which should be easy. A bank balance of 10,000, which should also be easy. And 40 people cured. I can deal with that. No problem. Let's get some GP's offices in here. You could see that they were getting quite busy in the other place. So we're going to have more of them. There we go. Important bits. Plant. Bin. Done. I'm just going to have to have a drink because I think my tongue just went down my throat. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll get a handyman in so that the plants don't start dying. And we'll put another GP's office in. I don't know how many I'm going to need for this. I don't know how busy it's going to get. But I would have thought that two would do it. And the more they wait around, the more they buy Kit Kats. Plant. In. There we go. Very uniform, Jenny. Very uniform. At the end here, we will have general diagnosis, which needs to be a little bit bigger. Oops. Getting it all wrong. Plant. Bin. And what that means is I've got a bit of room here for either psychiatric or the pharmacy, maybe. Um, we'll put psychiatric in here. Okay, we'll make it quite big. There we go. And then all the bits. Radiator. Plant. Bin, bookcase, skull dude. Right. I now need some doctors. Uh, oh, you do both psychiatry. Can't even say it. And you're a researcher. You're my kind of doctor. I'm going to have you. There we go. Now, we better get a reception desk in because it's getting a bit close to the place being open. We need a receptionist. That would be you. And we need drinks machines! So very important. Right, I'm going to have this as my waiting area. I'm going to have a an actual waiting area that doesn't involve being crushed up against other rooms. There we go. Lovely. And we're going to have some internal toilets. The toilet block never needs to be very big, so we'll just make it as small as I can get away with. There we go. The toilets were very popular previously, so I will put some more of them in. Plant, bin, toilet. There we go. Lovely. Just in time as well. Now, I need a pharmacy, do I not? So we will put that here. Um, that down a little bit. And then I can have my waiting area here for that. Not before I've put all this junk in. There we go. We get a nurse in. You're rubbish. You will do. And we're open. Jolly good. Right. I'm going 
to make them directly face the drinks machine so they don't have a choice. Now, in this, we're going to get some extra room. You can see how cold it is. Oh dear. But we are going to need some extra room for clinics. So I'm going to buy that building up there. And the madness begins. I'm also going to put a radiator in somewhere around here. But up here, in this lovely new building, we're going to have the inflation clinic. Yuck. Didn't make that very big, did I? Well, live with it. And over here, at this end, we're going to need the new research department. Now, the research department has a gigantic thing called the auto autopsy machine. <laughs> um, and that is so that if somebody dies, you can find out why. The more people you have working in your research department, the quicker you research things, strangely enough. So I'm going to have a second desk. Uh, and I would put this bin in. There we go. Now, let's see if there are any really good researchers available, like you. We've just put him straight in, and he starts working. And up here, there's a menu thing up here. We can go to research, and if you've ever played Theme Park, it's exactly the same. We can research all different things. We don't really need specialisation at the moment. What we need is cure equipment, because otherwise people are going to be hanging about. We also don't really need improvements. We need diagnosis equipment. So there we go. I have satisfied the financial criteria. What I haven't done is build a staff room. There's nowhere around here I can build it, so it's going to have to be up here. Doctor, attending psychiatry, please. There we go. I'm not feeling very generous, so. A couple of sofas. TV. Fire extinguisher in case of arson, <laughs> whatever it is. Ah, there we go. Meanwhile, we've got a new diagnosis. Oh, it's heaped piles again. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to know. We don't want to know about that. My rating at the moment is still 500. I have a lot of people, actually. A surprisingly big number of people. I don't think I've got enough doctors, that's why. So, I like multitasking doctors, but you are the best doctor, so you can go in there. Unfortunately, we can't scroll back any, or at least I don't think we can. This is what you get. But the closer you get, the more money you can see I'm getting. We've got a new condition, and it's gut rot. Lovely. Mrs O'Malley's good time whiskey cough mixture causes gut rot. No cough, but no stomach wall lining either. <laughs> nice. Uh, I felt like I had gut rot for a while, I'm telling you. Oof. Not a huge fan of hospitals. I don't hate them, but um, being in one wasn't that pleasant. Would have been a lot more pleasant if there'd been a Kit Kat machine directly outside. Here is a psychiatric patient being treated. She goes onto there and we charge her $200 for the privilege. It's brilliant. Still a lot of people waiting around. It looks like I'm going to need a fair number of doctors and probably another psychiatrist. Because when the psychiatrist has to go into the psychiatry room, he can't be diagnosing people. New condition is uncommon cold. We're not going to talk about that, it's horrible. Oh, you can hear it. It's vile. At least I hope you can hear that. Oh, but here we go. The slicer has been successfully... Uh, successfully researched. Now, we know about bloaty head, so stop harassing me about that. But now, oh, we know about TV personalities as well. It keeps telling me <laughs> that it's invented the clinic, but it doesn't seem to have discovered the thing. The illness. Again, nobody's going to want a window here because nobody wants to see what goes on in that room. Soon you will know what goes on in that room and you won't be very happy about it. We add all our accessories. The Slack Tongue Clinic 
uses a piece of high-tech machinery to extend the tongue and snip it off. Yes, it is as bad as it sounds. People are going to need to sit down when they realise that's going to happen to them, so there we go. Meanwhile, Lawrence Nightingale is coming to my hospital. He's going to freeze, I suspect. Where shall I put this other radiator? There. There we go, we're a bit warmer. My researchers are going to freeze, but you know, that's not too bad. Oh, there's a banana skin. That means the handymen are not keeping up with it. There we go, he takes out his broom, sweeps it up. I'm going to put you, sir, on litter duty with just a little bit of repairing machines duty as well. This woman is terribly unhappy. She's terribly unhappy, I'm sure we can help. She's cold. She's quite thirsty. And we have sent her somewhere. To the pharmacy. We've sent her to the pharmacy. We're taking out a pink red potion and Ooh. Well, we seem to have cured her, but she's still not happy. Oh, there we go. Her happiness graph has gone right off the charts, despite the fact that it still says that she's grumpy. That's a bit strange. Anyway, we cured her, so happy now. No, you're not. Right, fine. It's probably the cost. Probably not happy about having to pay. Note. Tory government. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we've discovered sleeping illness. It's an overactive sleep gland in the roof of the mouth. Gives an overwhelming desire to crash out everywhere. I think I've had sleeping illness. I think I still have it. <laughs> I can tell you now. So tired. So very tired. <laughs> right, I only need uh, another 28. 28 patients. Oh, going to be here ages. But we've got a clinical decision to make. We've only got a 69% chance that we've identified what type of invis invisibility he has. Now, if I send him home, that won't look good in front of the VIP. If I take a chance on the cure, that won't look good in front of the VIP. But I could get this patient to wait. And we'll see whether my... Shut up! Shut up! We'll see whether my uh, research department can come up with something. Meanwhile, we've got banana skins again. The handyman is not keeping up, so I will give him a friend. Oh no, 61% chance of... What's like... Ugh. Get them to wait, just get them to wait. They'll buy Kit Kats and it will be fine. I need another researcher, don't I? If we don't know what's wrong with people, there's not much point in them coming here. And I didn't get a second desk for nothing. Research! Research, damn you! There's a woman here with slack tongue. <laughs> Can you see? <clears throat> I can't believe how many doctors I need. This place is busy. Oh, here he comes. Now, do, do you want to watch this? You might want to look away. The VIP wants to watch. He's standing at the door. Ugh, horrible. But hey, she's happy now. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> the level of detail in this game, though, it's just, um, it is amazing. When I first bought this, I could not believe what I was seeing. I played Theme Park, and that was kind of cool. But this, the level of detail, wowzers. Now this guy's waiting, he's one of the waiting people. I could just send him home. But I could go up to the research room and ask them to research a bit more diagnosis equipment. Ah, oh, we're all done on cure equipment, so now we can shove everything into diagnosis equipment. Good. Hopefully that'll help. What we don't have is the cardiogram mentioned earlier, and we might need the cardiogram. so that we can diagnose these people, although I think that that chap has walked off in a huff. I can't see him. 
Eighty-one percent chance of invis of uh, what type of invincibility? Uh, invincibility, invisibility. Take a chance. Anything over eighty, I'm quite happy with. Doctor, Meanwhile, you, smoking machine. That's not good. We don't want it to blow up. Get a handyman on it. Lawrence Nightingale says, "What a well-run hospital! Thanks for inviting me." And he's awarded us lads of money. Good. I'm getting exhausted now, can you tell? <laughs> it's a good job that the new cardio has just been successfully researched. I have nowhere to put it, so I'm going to have to buy this enormous area here. I've just thought... Did I put a ward in? I don't think I did. That could be a big, big problem. Okay, in that case, we're going to have a ward and we're going to have cardio facilities. No wonder they don't know what's wrong with anybody. I haven't got a ward. How stupid. Go. Oh, there we go. You see. Oh, it's my own silly fault. I am very tired. It's going to be a warm ward. There we go. Yep. Getting to wait because I am going to have all of the diagnosis rooms in a minute and we're going to be fine. There we go. Probably going to have to have another nurse. Uh, the cardio requires any doctor. There we go, again. I'm building diagnosis rooms, stop harassing me. Incidentally, if like me you're already exhausted, this game, my god, starts to get what I can only describe as knackering. Anyway, this chap can at least sit down. This woman appears to have been cured and is now super happy. And I'm nearly out of the Hall of Shame. Just nearly. I've cured 23 people. I pay myself the biggest amount of money. Nobody's died. And I've had the most visitors. I have awards for best reputation, most valuable hospital and cleanliness. Go me. Can't resist getting another doctor in. Eventually I just have loads of doctors just walking round and round and round and round and round. And they cost a lot of money. <gasps> Meanwhile, it's banana skin hell here. Why are you not being seen in another treatment room? That's quite annoying. And why are you not cleaning the banana skins off the floor? Come here. Thank you. The last thing you want to see when you first get into a hospital is a banana skin on the floor. The ward is doing some good business, which is great because you can charge for that. 75% chance. I will take that chance. This woman's having a sleep, which is roughly what I need now. And meanwhile, we found a condition called the squits. It's caused by eating pizza found under the cooker. Symptoms? Surely you can guess. Yes, quite. Doctor required in general diagnosis. Now, these people are leaving, so I'm going to take the opportunity to put some extra stuff in the ward. Nurse required in pharmacy. I think I can get at least one bed in, maybe two. bin is in the way. No, I think it is, you know. Right, fine, we'll just have one then. Meanwhile, clinical decision wise, 87% chance. I like those odds. I also noticed that it said that my machines were starting to be a problem as well. Again, we can replace the hardware because eventually it doesn't matter how many times you repair it. It just blows up. Let's just, let's just replace it. I'd rather not take that chance. How's my cardiogram doing? My cardiogram's okay. Right, it's calmed down a little bit. That's good. But how many more people do I need to cure to beat this level? That is the question. I can't remember how it tells me. 
You go win criteria. Reputation is good. Bank balance is good. Treatment is good. Six more people. Both of those things sound like we're on the way to a cure. This is good. So let's nip up to the research department and say, hello. You see, they've all done on diagnosis equipment now, so we can put a load of stuff into improvements and some into drug research and maybe some into specialisation, although I don't know whether I need it right now. There we go. I'm so, so, so sorry, little rat. <laughs> you will be going forever. Doctor required in general diagnosis. This guy's uh, reducing his tiredness levels. This is good. We can see, incidentally, from this that uh, he's just a doctor. He could be a consultant, but he's not a junior. He has special skills in psychiatry. His ability level is probably not what you want to be treated by. He's a lot more awake and he's very happy. I could sack him. I could move him. I'm not going to do either of those things. He's fine. Meanwhile, in Moneyland. We have a visitor count of 46 and we expect nobody else. One of my doctors has become a consultant. What was I saying? Well, there you go. The timing. They do improve. Eventually, you have to make them improve as well, which is a very cool bit. But it's not in this level. I seem to have lost my ka money sound. That's happened in other games as well. Where does my ka money sound go? It's like my computer is allergic to ka money sounds. It was allergic to Windows 10, incidentally. If you weren't following me on Twitter when my computer had a total meltdown and Windows 10 wrecked everything, be very glad that you missed my rage. Unfortunately, it has led to the uh, removal, I believe, of my Morrowind save file, which is it's super annoying, but hey. King Bernard of the Netherlands wants to come. And have his tongue cut off. <laughs> I have too many doctors now. I always have too many doctors. Always. But surely now I must be close to winning this. Surely. I have cured all the people. So in a moment, should get notification of that. But sometimes it takes a little while. It's like HMRC, the tax people. They take a little while to realise that you've paid off your student loan and keep taking it off you when you don't owe it anymore. That is quite annoying. Anyway, it's my birthday. Look, 7th of May. Yay. I wanted to win on my birthday, but no. Nobody's died instantly, have they? So taking the chance was the right thing to do. Excellent. Here's some charts, which I never ever use. That is too complicated. Doctor, attend immediately in cardio Believe me, later levels, charts are going to be the last thing on my mind. Staying sane will be the first thing on my mind. Doctor required an inflator room. I think this is ticking along quite nicely, isn't it? Please let me win. And please fix my machines, because I don't want any deaths while King Bernard is in the building. We for the staff are complaining of the cold. Ugh. Well, the research staff are probably quite cold. I'll just turn the radio is up. There we go. Anything else I can show you? while we're waiting for it to realise that I'm awesome. Uh, the casebook, that's got all of the things I've diagnosed and I can charge people more for, uh, for curing it, which is fairly awesome. We even charge for autopsies. 
Is there some quick cash to be made in that? No. Yes. Yes, there is. Very much so. Now we're all lazing about now, look. My super awesome multi-talented man who's having a rest. And a man who needs to be dealing with banana skins rather than sitting around. I'm going to put him back there. My plants are absolutely thriving. Unlike in real life where you get to kind of January, February time and half of them die off. Even the plant on the reception desk looks good. Hey! It wasn't that urgent. You have been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital, and to this end we predict great things for you and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. The salary would be quite a lot of money for the mid-90s, and we think that you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Would you like a position at Large Chester Hospital? What do you think? Come back in the next episode, and we'll see just how insane I actually go. Gameplay Jenny